Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Leak the Analyst. According to Pastebin posts and articles, some unknown threat actors have claimed to have gained access to Mandiant's organization. And Mandiant, by the way, is the forensic professional service arm of FireEye. Now, this is all due to a pastebin post where these unknown threat actors have started what they call Operation Leak the Analyst. In this operation, they seem to have been able to hijack the computer or at least the cloud services of one of Mandian's threat researchers. And they claim that they did this in 2016 and that they've had access to Mandian's network all the way up to 2017. Now that said, there seems to be no evidence that suggests that at least the breach of Mandiant's system is true. They did share a dump in an accompanying file that seems to have things like uh, some of this researcher's credentials, images of his uh, social media accounts, things like his OneDrive or other such cloud accounts like his Gmail account, and other personal information. On top of that, this particular researcher's LinkedIn page was defaced and later deleted. So it does seem true that at the very least, these threat actors might have gained access to some of his personal online accounts. But that doesn't guarantee they really have gained access to Mandiant's internal network. Now, Mandiant has responded to this allegation and they claim that according to their investigation, there's no evidence that these threat actors have breached their network, but they're still looking into it. In any case, this is a pretty scary story to see threat actors out there specifically targeting security community researchers or analysts. Uh, it is scary to see that happen. And really, I think the moral of this story or the practical takeaway is no one is ever perfect, even myself. Unfortunately, in information security, it is always a cat and mouse war game. And with enough persistence, enough time, uh, and enough sophistication, almost anyone can can be hijacked or hacked or socially engineered. And by the way, in some cases, there's no shame in being hacked, as long as you at least did most of the right security practices. Do you know that uh, bad guys sometimes can get into accounts? You know, perhaps it was nothing this researcher did. Perhaps it was some password reset mechanism of some social platform that allowed the attacker to get the first kind of step into this researcher's infrastructure. In any case, it's an interesting story, and hopefully we'll find out it's true that Mandian's network was not breached, that it stopped at this particular researcher's uh, cloud services and maybe his computer. That said, the main takeaway is realize that even though you should focus on good prevention, following good security practices, having good OPSEC or operational security so that you don't get breached in this manner, there is no perfect solution. So you also have to prepare for the day where you might have a security incident. Make sure you have detection and response capabilities to find out uh, if you have malware on your computer or infrastructure, and make sure to also have good backups and a disaster recovery plan. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.